Eventually in life, you're going to have to answer one of the most fundamental questions. Are you going to be a hot dog or are you going to be a wiener? I mean, who do you want to look like? In other words, what body or physique are you trying to attain? What person, perhaps, do you find inspirational when you're weight training that you want to most look like? Who you want to look like is going to obviously dictate what you should do to get that body. And I find people really don't break down, honestly, who they want to look like and what it takes, therefore, to achieve that. The way I see it, there are three different body types that people are really trying to achieve. One, bodybuilders. These are guys that want size at all costs. They rock three things, fanny packs, spandex, and wanting to build muscle. And I respect this, but this is not my goal. What a bodybuilder really wants to be a natural bodybuilder can never achieve the proportions or the symmetry that a steroid using bodybuilder will have. And being a natural bodybuilder to really build up the ultimate physique that you probably envision in your brain would take approximately 10 years or thereabouts. It depends on ultimately what your goal is, but it'll take that long. As well, honestly, it's very genetic dependent at that very advanced stage. I mean, only those with the best genetics, it's not about heart, only those with the best genetics will eventually be able to step on the stage or win competitions, be it natural or otherwise. So already there's a limiting factor. Bodybuilding is all about illusion, the illusion of size. Building muscle in certain areas to overemphasize them and fixing your lagging area. So in order to do that, what I'd highly recommend for your training is to obviously fix lagging areas. So for instance, if your calves are weak, my calves suck, I don't give a fuck. But if your calves suck, you should really be building them up. You should build up also areas that you look really good at naturally to try and overemphasize them. So if you have a great lat spread, you'd be training on that, trying to overemphasize that. Trying to build that body so when you step on stage or when you just look aesthetically in the mirror, you say, hot fuck, I'm a body bodybuilder it's awesome I love my fanny pack for bodybuilders think size raw size for the record I think a lot of people think they want to be a bodybuilder but actually rather be in category number two two athletes these are people that want to be built exceptionally lean all year round not just for a contest they want to be functional they want to be strong they want to have a lot of energy and they want to live a healthy long life They not only want to look good, they want to perform even better. I'm talking about your football athletes, so running backs, sprinters, gymnasts. These are people that have very aesthetic physiques that also train at a very high level. You can rock that body on the beach, in the bed, all day, all night, all right, all right. That's what I'm talking about. For an athlete, you care about your performance, and your performance will dictate your aesthetics, meaning the harder you train, the better you train, the better you'll look. And what I mean further by that is that you care just as much about the weight room, the numbers that you're lifting, as you do about your body, about your health, about how you feel. So it's the holistic package, and it's the most sustainable. To be clear, this is where my goal is, and this is where high performance living falls underneath. You would be doing, in order to train for this, you'd be doing a lot of foundation work, so a lot of raw, heavy strength lifting. You also would do some aesthetic work for areas that you want to build up, so let's say for your arms and so forth, whatever the case might be, deltoids, whatever the case might be, and you'd be doing also a very much a stable anabolic cardio. That means cardio that is not going to waste away your muscles. So I'm talking sprints, prowler work, sledgehammers, kettlebell sessions, circuits, those sorts of things, and eating to fuel your body for performance. So matching your energy expenditure with a proper energy intake. The more you train, the more you should eat. Interestingly enough, this high performance training that I'm talking about is truly the fastest way to gain size because you're training the highest volume and you're also ingesting the most amount of nutrients. Just simply look at a lot of those photos I posted of the NFL players. For athletes, think powerful. You want to look powerful and you want to be powerful in what you do. Three, Thin dudes, these are guys that honestly all they care about is getting super lean, like starving model look thin. I'm talking about people that look at Bruce Lee and Tyler Durden from Fight Club or whatever the hell his name is and are inspired and want to look exactly like that. They don't want a lot of muscle, all they care about is getting lean. And I respect that, that's your goal, Why? that's totally cool. In order to achieve that, that super lean look, that Abercrombie fish, bitch, whatever the hell, what you'd want to do is still stick to about two to three times a week full body movements to make sure that not all your muscle gets catabolic and you lose all your muscle, but stick to two to three times a week, but do much more cardio than what I normally recommend and drop a lot of your carbohydrates so you're going to be eliminating all that excess water weight. So you'd be very, very thin. Remember, you're doing more cardio than I traditionally recommend, but it's going to work and eventually you'll get super, super lean with those abs. For thin dudes, think abs. 
I just want to get my abs. I just want my abs. There you have it. Those are the three different looks. In my opinion, the most noble and sustainable of the looks is look number two, the athletic look. It's a look that everyone can achieve because it's still a very sizable amount of muscle. It's lean 24-7. It's something that's functional. It has a big crossover in the real world. Your joints are going to be nice and safe and you're going to lead a healthy, active, and you know what I mean when I say active, life. But that's just my opinion. Who do you want to look like? Post in the comments section below who you want to look like. Because guys, I also respect bodybuilding. If I had to pick, I suppose, from the bodybuilding world, the realm, what physique I find very impressive, I'd pick two. I'd pick number one, definitely Frank Zane, and also Ed Corny. I like the golden age of bodybuilding. I ain't about the GH guts you see today, but the golden age of bodybuilding was very respectful. Post below, and I'll be seeing you next time. And if you're not a subscriber already, what the fuck are you doing watching my video? You should already be a subscriber.